If you didn't know, I was in LA the entire weekend. The Super Bowl just passed. A lot of y'all don't follow me on social media and I know a few of y'all probably just now subbing to the channel or haven't subbed to the channel. You're gonna look at this video like, hey, bruh cap. But if you're a real one, if you follow me on all my socials, bro, you know Ain't no cap. This is probably the best story I've ever been able to tell in my life. So boom, I got a homie who plays in the NFL. I ain't gonna say no names, you know what I'm saying? Cause we don't do no snitching around this mug, you know what I'm saying? So I got a homie in the NFL and he played in the Super Bowl. And his brother is like one of my best friends. He hit me up and was like, hey, I'm going to LA to watch my brother in the Super Bowl. You gotta pull up. I'm like, what? They can say that. Let's run it. I, I look at the tickets, I get the fights, and we go. Now listen, very important, y'all, y'all hear me on this, all right? His brother's in the NFL. He bought his whole family tickets to the game. I'm not in a family. I did not have tickets to the game. I was just gonna go out there, network, experience LA. At that point in time, I've never been to LA in my life. I've been everywhere else except LA and I wanted to see what I had to offer. Sunday, Sunday game day, I hit up Davis. I knew I wasn't going to the game because I didn't have no tickets. I hit up Davis because I wanted to get into something before the game start because I knew a &P had tickets to the game and I knew my homeboy had tickets to the game. I was just gonna be left out. So me and Davo had already Already talked and we was like, hey bro, look, when AMP lead to the game and your homeboy lead to the game, me, you, and Chris that be recording for AMP, like we just gonna hang out here at the hotel. I'm like, I bet, say less. So that was my plan, chat. I was like, I bet me, my nigga Davo, Chris, we about to, we about to chill. We about to probably go, go somewhere, go to a sports bar or something, and watch the game. I kid y'all not. This, this is where the story time about to get crazy. This is where the story time y'all gonna think I'm lying, bro. I swear to God. I called my Uber to link up with Davis and Davo. Bruh, I wish I could make this up. I dead ass wish I could make this up. Chat, you gotta believe me. I get into the car and the Uber driver like, hey, all right, cool, where we going? Now, usually that's a little bit funny to me because the Uber driver has ex my exact locations. They know exactly where I'm going. You don't have to ask me that, nigga. Look look at your phone, it's gonna tell you. Um, I'm going to uh, the Blank Hotel. I'm about to pull up on some homies. Can you drop me off there? He asked me, chat. He said, you sure you're not going to the Super Bowl? Now, at this time, it's like nine o'clock in the morning. I, I'm like, hey, no, okay, I'm not going to the Super Bowl. I'm going where the GPS is telling you to go. Just drop me off to the hotel. I put my AirPods on, you know what I'm saying? I start bumping my seven days, which by the way, you know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't heard my new song, Seven Days, link down below in the description type shit. It's a 45 minute drive. I told y'all I'm way out, bro. I'm nowhere near close. Now we like eight minutes away from the hotel and I see him kind of like wave to get my attention telling me to take on my AirPods. So I'm like, all right, let me see what you got to say. And he tell me like, hey, we right here by the stadium. Do you want me to drop you off at the stadium? I'm like, bro, why does this nigga keep asking me about the game? Like, I'm not going to the game, bro. He like, you sure? I'm like, yes. I never met this dude before in my life. Random Uber driver. I swear to God, it's a true story. He like, I got a funny feeling you're going to be at the game. I don't know why. Something is telling me to drop you off at the game. I'm like, listen, sir, I don't really know, but I, I need to be where I'm asking you to take me to. And he and he took me there. I link up with my boy Davis and Davo, and we go to Venice Beach. So me, Davis, and Davo is up here at UCLA chilling. AMP Texas Davis, like, yo, bro, where you at? We about to leave for the game in a little bit. So Davis kind of started panicking, like, oh shit, we in UCLA, 45 minutes away from SoFi Stadium, bro. Like, we need to leave now. So me and Davo, we like, I bet, you know what I'm saying? We grab our stuff, we call an Uber. Now, traffic was so bad and this is where like it get crazy traffic was so bad davis had to add an extra stop to the uber he said hey look y'all i'm gonna add an extra stop to the stadium so the uber gonna drop me off at the stadium and then it's gonna drop y'all off at the hotel i'm like all right bet you know what I'm, saying? I'm, I'm not thinking nothing of it my homie called me while i'm in the car while we on the way to the stadium he said bro i'm in the stadium they didn't scan my ticket nigga what bro he said i'm in the stadium i walked straight in and the guy just escorted me to the elevator because he has some very expensive vip tickets because like I said his brother plays for the team so he bought him tickets I'm like what do you mean you didn't like they didn't scan I'm like bro it's the Super Bowl they probably don't have to scan it right at this point I'm like I can't get in like yeah they didn't scan your ticket but it's the Super Bowl maybe like Bluetooth maybe I, like, I don't know but I can't get in off your ticket even if they didn't scan it I kid y'all not bro he said bro just pull up to the stadium and if it don't work then Uber back to the hotel because at this time the hotel wasn't far from the stadium so I'm like should I do it? I mean it might be a big ass waste of time but like nigga why not it's the Super Bowl I get to the Super Bowl, bro. Me and Davis, we hop out the car. I hit up Davo. I left my camera, nigga. My camera was left in the car. I told Davo, bro, please bring this back to the hotel. They my witnesses type shit. Nigga, hit up Davo, Davis. They was in the car with me when I found out the information. And Chris, because Chris was waiting for me to come back to the crib. And I'm like, nah, bro, I might be able to sneak in. So fast forward, we get to the Super Bowl. In order to even get past security, you have to show them that you have a ticket, right? At this time, I bumped into a &P because they was coming in at the same time I was coming in unintentionally once again, nigga, I didn't even know I was coming in this bit. 
I got past security the first time, I wasn't able to get past security the second time. So I saw like a bunch of Bengals fans, like drunk as hell, bro. They was pre-gaming, they was drunk as hell. They were saying, who they, who they? They were just shouting and yelling and walking in as a mob. And I can see like they were so overbearing that security wasn't even on their dick. They just let them niggas walk right on past and it was like checking everybody else. I'm like, oh shit, like I can kind of finesse with the Bengals fans if I like join a mob. So I kind of run up behind them and I kind of who they. Bro, I kid you not. I got past security again for the second time. This time though, I had to act like a Bengals fan and mob my way in because they, they wasn't checking them niggas. I guess because they were too drunk or they thought it was gonna be like too much of a hard time to search them and they just wanted to get regular people. I snuck in and then my boy, he got the ticket, right? So I go through the metal detector. So I'm already late, right? So I'm running to the gate and I see my boy and I get through security. I, I walk through and I get to him, bro. And he tapped the fucking gate chat. And the, when them doors open up, nigga, when the doors, after he tapped the gate, bro, I said, but ain't no mother, ain't no way we just did that, bro. And, and, and this is why I tell y'all that this is the coolest part about this whole shit, bro. The reason why I told y'all his, his tickets was hella expensive is because, matter of fact, hey, I got B-roll of me at the game, bro. I'm gonna I'm I'm play some of this B-roll of me at the game, bro. Hopefully, uh, it, it looks straight because it was like up and down. It was vertical, not horizontal. But I'm gonna let y'all see how close I was sitting, bro. We was, I was, like, when I got there, in order to get where I was getting, you had to take a secret elevator. It was the only way to the level. Steph Curry was on the elevator. Um, Daniel Lee. Um, if if y'all follow me on the gram or Twitter, I took a picture with AB, all right? I seen AB at the game. I'm, bro, this is what I'm saying. No cap. If you follow me on my socials, it'll back up everything, bro. But, nigga, we, we get on the elevator, bro. Go to uh, level one and the 100 section, bro. And no cap, I watched the entire Super Bowl for free. And I snuck in, bro. It, it was crazy, bro. One of the craziest fucking things that ever happened. That whole day was amazing. Like, the after party was amazing after we left the Super Bowl. Uh, getting to meet AB. I met so many other, like, uh, entertainers. And, bro, it was absolutely crazy. LeBron was there. I met Richard Jefferson. Drake was, like, right there with us. Uh, Juicy was right there with us. It was everybody, bro. It was a crazy-ass time chat, but more importantly, it's a crazy story time I wanted to bring to y'all, man. Hey, drop a like, comment, man, if y'all want more story times, bro. I dead ass snuck inside of the Super Bowl for free. Like, hey, my homie that, that, that helped me get in, you a W man. Um, more videos for your head top, man. Subscribe to the channel if you knew all that shit, gang. Till next time, man, I get up with y'all.